What is up YouTube? Yes, we are back with another banger. And if you are subscribed to this channel, you know I love you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep watching, like the videos, leave me some comments. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're doing big things. Now, if you're new to this video today, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get each and every new video. So we have a great one today, guys. We have the Fila Stack Spaghetti, or originally called the Fila Stackhouse Ones. But when it retroed in 2007, they decided to go with the Fila Stack Spaghetti. Eh which was nicknamed the spaghetti during that time when they originally were released. Now, the shoe is um, the signature shoe of Jerry Stackhouse, which he was um, drafted by the Philadelphia 76ers in 1994. Um, and his sh first uh, signature shoe released in 1995 and he played for the Philadelphia 76ers as I said now the colorway you have in front of you right now is the Atlanta Hawks colorway which eventually he was dealt and traded to the Atlanta Hawks but before that he did play for the Washington Wizards and also the Detroit Pistons and famously on the Washington Wizards he played with Michael Jordan in Michael Jordan's return to the NBA for the second time at a you know older age but still he made a huge impact in the league because everyone was so happy to see Michael Jordan so he played alongside Michael Jordan in and with the Washington Wizards um, in that 2001 I think or 2002 um, year but um, he did go to college and University of Carolina, UNC, just like um, uh, Michael Jordan. So, you know, they have some similar um, backgrounds because, you know, Jerry Stackhouse is a six foot six um, shooting guard, just like Michael Jordan. <laughs> but um, like, in, like I said, in front of you, you have the um, Fila Stack Spaghetti. So let me give you some background on Fila. Uh, now I did do a, another Fila video, which I gave some great um, background. They started in 1911 in Bialia, uh, Italy. Um, Fila was a textile um, company, and in the 70s, they decided to go into sportswear. Now sportswear was, you know, a big thing um, back in the 70s and 80s and Fila decided to enter in the world of tennis. Uh, one of their biggest endorsements for a player was Bjorn Bork. Now Bjorn Bork actually won five straight Wimbledons at, by the age of 26, so he was a international star, and he actually retired at the age of 26, but he famously wore Fila gear and Fila shoes and tennis shoes. But um, another great moment in Fila's history as in 1971 uh, Roland Messner climbed Mount Everest in Fila gear and Fila um, shoes and he had no oxygen tank so that was the first time um, anyone in the world climbed Mount Everest with no oxygen tank and he did it all by wearing Fila gear and Fila shoes so that was a huge moment in Fila's history. Um, another huge moment in Fila's history was when they entered into the game of basketball. In 1994, they signed um, Grant Hill, the rising star and rookie that was going to precede Michael Jordan and become the greatest player of all time. That was um, people's thoughts that my, uh, Grant Hill would be, you know, proceed. Michael Jordan as the greatest player of all time, but and he could have he could have done it, you know, if he um, if he didn't get hurt. Now I'm not sure if he would have done it because Michael Jordan was just that he was a killer, man. He was he's the goat, you know, you know, and so, you know, there's people close to Michael Jordan like Kobe and LeBron, and Magic, but 
No one's on Mike's level. No one's on Jordan's level. And Grand Hill could have been, you know, the upper echelon of greatness. But he still did have a Hall of Fame career, so we can't knock him for that. And, you know, injuries do play a part in someone's um, historical um, legacy, and that had to be part of his. And it wasn't his fault because when he was playing for the Pistons, a team doctor and the team doctors, they misdiagnosed him, and he eventually broke his foot, and he tried coming back too soon and broke it again. But Grand Hill was a great versatile player but today's shoe and so like I was saying you know they entered into the game of basketball and the shoe game of basketball and one of the huge players that they did sign like I said was Grand Hill but also was Jerry Stackhouse a promising player that was going to be a great a great one so the original colorways was going to be and it's so weird because the original colorways of most of the um the 90s basketball shoes for Fila is like navy, blue, white, and like red. And the reason why is because Grand Hill signed with the Pistons, that's their colorways. And then um, Jerry Stackhouse signed with the um, 76ers, that's their colorways. So, you know, that's why those colorways are always like uh, blue, red, and white, like USA colors. But we have the Atlanta Hawks colorway today. So let's take a look at the Fila uh, Stack Spaghettis. So as you can see, let's start off with this side panel here. So, and this is all in leather. The original shoes, the OGs, um, is all new book through here. But this one has all leather. Um, let's start off actually with that Fila logo. I think it looks so great, it sticks out. These vibrant colors of the Atlanta Hawks are so dope. And to see this stitched on in that yellow, in that um, like infrared uh, colorway is just so fire. And as you can see on the side panels, this is why they call it the Fila Stack Spaghettis. Because it looks like noodles here, you know, it looks like spaghetti <laughs> or spaghetti straps, you know what I mean? I mean, it is so fuego, and it looks so great on this shoe, and it gives it a unique look, and it makes it stand out when someone is wearing and wearing it to drip and look so fly. So, let's take a look at the toe box. You have that Fila, that F right there, all black leather in the toe box, and you have black stitching. And like I said, you have the Fila logo right there. Um, you also have another Fila logo in the tongue. This is actually not how the original looked in the OG. The OG had a, a, um, a pull tab right here. And it was leather pull tab with a Fila logo on it. But they made the change to this. And I think it looks great. I mean, look at it. It's a stitched on... Uh, feel a logo in that box and I think it looks so 90s so great. So the change I like it um, Same thing on this side you had that feel stack spaghetti Spaghetti straps or spaghetti like noodle type things and this is actually uh, nylon right here in that uh, infrared and that hits of yellow and black they're all leather and this is all for stability, by the way. Stability for the, the person that wears it, as you can see. And you have these these eyelids that are all leather. And it looks so great, guys. Let's take a look at the back of the shoe. You have a pull tab on the back. It's a Fila um, logo right there. And it looks so cool. Um, you have black liner inside the shoe. Red on the back of the tongue. We're back on the other side again. You have that Fila once again. You have an all white midsole and you have that um, cushioning system, which looks really good. You have herringbone, herringbone traction with um, the uh, technologies right in here. I don't know if it's the 2A system, but it's a cush, like Cushlon um, cushion system 
that's really great and this traction is nice and hard and durable and sturdy so you can play indoor and outdoor with these shoes and look this is built for a, a um, like a point guard or a guard as you can tell this part how it goes up like that that is for yes movement and for a guard play and as you can look at it it kind of reminds you of a Jordan 13 you know how the Jordan 13 has like the, the pods on the bottom for the like the like the tiger pods this is actually how this is uh, made right here um, uh, at the same time yes the Jordan 13 was one of the shoes that were coming out during that time so yeah you know shoe companies did borrow from each other and you have the feel of branding right there in the middle right there and what did you guys think of the feel of stack spaghetti I love this shoe oh by the way Logan J he inspired me to get this shoe Logan J bias he has a YouTube channel check him out what a great awesome youtuber he is so look at let's look at the other sh shoe they have the um, it says FS right there Fila um, spaghetti obviously F and S Fila spaghetti and you have the fork and the noodles really dope and then you have the Fila logo right there so another shoe that I picked up which I did have in my other video is the um, the uh, Fila M3s or the Fila Mashburns, Fila Mashburn 1s and this is in the Dallas Mavericks colorway because when he was drafted he was drafted by the, um, the Dallas Mavericks so this is the Dallas Mavericks colorway which is really dope guys another dope shoe by Fila, the Fila Mashburn 1s another great shoe and their ultimate of all ultimate shoes is the Grant Hill 2's, the feel of Grant Hill 2's is their greatest accomplishment because the Fila 2, Fila 2 was rivaling, they were number 2 in sales in 1996 behind Nike, so they did they thing. Like them Fila Grant Hill 2's are legendary for a reason, I mean it's so fire. And this is the special racing team version of the shoe, so I hope you enjoyed this video and the Fila Stack Spaghettis. Um, I think it is an amazing shoe and I think it is one of the most iconic shoes in the 90s historical shoe game that we all know and loved. In the 90s, if you grew up in the 90s, you know what I mean. Shoes were amazing. Shoes were just so celebrated and just it changed the game, you know, the Jordans, the Reeboks, the Fila's, the Adidas, and all the great ones like An One and everybody, they played their part, Converse, and that dope, um, you know, surgeons of signature basketball shoes, and just the, the sneaker head world, and how people enjoyed sneakers back in the 90s, and this is an amazing retro of the 90s the Fila stack spaghettis guys if you're new to this subscribe hit that notification bell thank you so much youtube i am out